Hey everybody, what's going on? It's John281 here, and we're back again with some more Pokemon Uranium. In the last episode, we dove and did some underwater exploring, and then popped up uh, somewhere over here. Uh, and we're on our way to... Tsukunami, I want to say, if I remember that right. I think that's the name of the, the island we're headed to. Okay, that, okay, sure, yeah. That, that worked out, and not how I planned. Um... And a stupid another fish. Fish, get out of here. I don't want to fucking deal with you, fish. Get out. But, uh, yeah. We're uh, finally in a new area. Finally in a new... Ooh! Endure. What does that do? I feel like I was trying... I, I feel like this is going pretty far back, but I feel like in episode, like, 20 or 30, I was... Well, maybe even 50. I was trying to learn something, and I think it was Endure, but I didn't have it at the time. Uh, that sounds cool. Um, endure. Here we go. Nope, never mind. It's not what I thought it was. Is there anything? Is there gonna be anything new on this island? Yes. What is that? I remember fighting that thing. Let's just go ahead and uh, half-life this thing and get wrecked. Brine. So what is that supposed to be? Is that literally just like a pirate Pokemon? Can I catch it with a Pokeball? It's like half my level. Hopefully that helps enough and so that I can catch it. Two, three, got him. Out of the Pokemon. What the fuck kind of Pokemon is this? Is this just a pirate Pokemon? A swab. A swab Pokemon? A favorite Pokemon of pirates, the bandana it wears indicates which ship's crew it belongs to. It craves treasure or something, something, something. That's interesting. I don't know that I would have described it as a swab Pokemon. That makes it sound like some kind of healing Pokemon. Like a like a healing swab or something. Or like a, something a, a doctor would use. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. But is that the only thing that's here? Ooh, also Floatzel. That's the second evolution, though. I want the first one. Where is the first one? Is the first one on the island somewhere? That's the same, that's the same one again. Uh, for a second there, I thought it was the same Pokemon, but no, it's just the same species, same Pokemon? What do you, what do you call that? Are they different species? Okay, you know what? Never mind then. I... Okay, so it's just this one. Lots of this one, apparently. Oh, okay, I think we're done here. Um, you know what, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna go. I think we determined there wasn't a whole lot to see you do on that island. We determined that pretty well. Just keep going. These is Fry and I, man. They're just meant to be annoying. Because there's... They must just be designed to be annoying because there's no fucking way in hell you're gonna get over here without a Pokemon that can one-hit KO a level 30 Fry and I. Like, l seriously. There's no way you can beat Crazy Mountain Hobo with anything weak enough not to do that. You have arrived. Uh, it is as we were told. You are welcome to our village. When you are ready, the master awaits you in his dojo. Thank God there wasn't another pair of ninjas in every step. Hello. This village exists as a symbol of harmony between our people. We came together to build this as a sign of peace after the hundreds of years of war. That's the wrong side. Statue of the mighty uh, Diakatuna. The bright shining moon reflected by ocean waves. Tsukunami village. Hello, small child. I'm training to be a ninja master. I've already developed my own technique. Ninja spitball. Patui. Okay, then. You know, for being... Oh, this, this you know, island out in the middle of nowhere where... It, I, 
you know, in pirate ravaged waters and ninja protected waters and all of this and all of that. It's odd that they have what is equivalently like a 7-Eleven or something. That's basically what we've found here. It's like a 7-Eleven and a Walgreens. It's just like, oh yes, we are away from the hubbub of common life. Only very few people are allowed here. It's, you know, it's all of this, it's all of that. It's very hard to get here in the first place. It's like climbing to the top of Mount Everest and you get there and you're like, I made it. You look up and there's just like a 7-Eleven and a Walgreens and you're like, what the fuck? But okay then. This village holds the brightest shrine to the gods in all of Tandor. It serves. It also serves as this town's Pokemon gym. Ooh, Poke gym already. Hello. There is nothing like watching the serenity of the ocean at night. The gentle reflection of the moon and stars it soothes this old soul. I'm glad. Glad you're here. Great retirement community you got going here. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Please. I need my PowerPoints back. I just fought through a bunch of shit and caught some Pokemons. East Tandor is one nuclear power plant to cross the sea to the east. It's the last one that's still standing in Tandor. Good to know. They say that only those who have mastered all the ninja techniques can train the, the sacred Pokemon of Tsukunami. I gotta catch it if I want to catch all of them. Ooh, interesting. But as an aside, Tsukunami? I... Tsuka... Whatever. I think I have one of those. Unless that's like the Mega Evolution version or something. The Legend Museum is to the north. Uh, the Legend Museum to the northwest has all sorts of interesting things for a rune maniac like me. All kinds of ancient myths and stuff. Interesting, interesting. Not something I want to check out. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to all the people. I gotta talk to all the people. At any given moment in this village, there are at least ten ninja around. You just can't see mo see us most of the time. Interesting. Why do we wear all black all the time? Well, it's because it's cool, duh. Plus, you can't tell when it gets dirty. Wouldn't that be brown, not black? I feel like black, you can still see dirt. We ninjas are, work uh, are working on our image. The whole mysterious and deadly thing doesn't make uh, for great PR. I, I could see that. That, that makes sense. Ooh, what is that? I don't know, where do I catch it? The statue depicts the Pokemon Yatagaruya. It is uh, rare and sacred to the ninja clan. The only, pro only the proven are allowed to train them. Are allowed to train them. Uh, they say Yatagaruya has the power to summon thunderstorms at will. Yata uh, Yatagaruya. Garyu. What? Yatagaryu. Yatagaru. Yatagaru. They say Yatagaru has the power to summon thunderstorms at will. That's why it's called the Stormbringer Pokemon. Dude. Statue of the Great Yatagaru. Garu. Yatagaru. I'm gonna pronounce that different every time. Rare foods and treasures from as far as the wind blows. You can buy them here. I found the 7 Eleven. Hello, hello, I sell. Where? Rare. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Hello, hello. I sell rare delicacies from all over the world. Almost fucked that up again. How may I serve you? I would like to buy coconut milk, carrot wine. Ooh, ooh, lava cookie. Uh, nah. I'm good. Thank you, though. Hello. Hi. Uh, hey, yeah. I see you're a trainer. I sell items to give your Pokemon an edge in battle. How may I serve you? Uh, ooh. An item held by Pokemon. This head he headband ups attack, but only allow but allows the, the use of only one kind of move. An item held by Pokemon. This boosts speed, but only allows okay. Only allows one to okay. Uh, if it has full HP, the holder will endure a potential KO attack. Ooh, that would be good for Nucleon. So that, that is basically a held item that will cancel out a one-hit KO. Uh, it will endure... What's the difference between these two?
Oh, may endure. So that's the chip. So this is if it's full to zero, it will remain standing. This is any number to zero, it may remain standing. So there's a chance it will avoid it. Um, boost the power of super effective moves. That's okay. So these three things, if I can, uh, if I could tie those all together and put them on my nucleon, that would be great. Because that would also boost the power of... That would boost the power of all of my attacks for my Nucleon, I think. Life Orb. Uh, it boosts the power of moves, but at the cost of some HP on each hit. Uh, I don't understand the ones that inflict... Actually, no, 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 I take that back. This would be great for Flagon, right? Because every time Flagon takes damn fire damage, it heals. So this would actually heal a Flagon, I think, is how that would work. In a weird min maxi sort of way. Toxic Orb, I have one of those. So the, the Flame Orb might be good for my, uh, for my Flagon, if I chose to use him. But, and I can, I can, uh, Mega Evolve the Flagon. I don't know if, uh, it still has, a uh, Flagger, rather. Flagger? Flagon? I don't remember. The little, uh, fiery dude. Hmm. Uh, critical hit ratio. Accuracy. If the holder moves after the foe, okay. No, you have all kinds of interesting things, though. I might be back. Tsukunami, Holy Temple, and Pokemon Gym. Oh, this is the gym? Then what the hell was the thing over to the left? Huh. Are you a Pokemon collector? Surely you're searching to capture them all, yes? These items will help you do that. <clears throat> Ooh, all the different kinds of balls. Nice. Love ball, lure ball, uh, heavy ball, moon, fast, <clears throat> a level ball, that would be good, friend ball, interesting, um, so that's all of those people, I talked to all of these people, um, was there anything up here? There was. There's so many different fighting styles practiced here. I have years of training ahead of me if I want to master them all. That uh, you do. This is another one. Okay. So what the fuck is this? Oh, is this the other dojo? So, you have arrived at last. Please be welcome to my dojo. Uh, uh, I am known as Grandmaster Yoshitaka, he who has mastered six arts. And you are John Toy One, the one who defeated my disciple, Pokage. I see you are quite strong You are quite strong already. Yes, indeed. You are the one I am looking for. I am known as the master of six arts, endurance, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Those are oddly specific, I realize that, but just roll with me on this one. Those are the core principles of the six arts. In my years, I have taken many dis uh, disciples. Discipline? Disciples. Of them all, there are six ninja which have attained true mastery of their art. These six masters have left Tsukunami Village. Now they travel across Tandor, each teaching the ways of their style. I have summoned you here to ask you a favor. You who have journeyed so far, who seeks to become even stronger. In my old age, I have gained a certain clairvoyance. I can tell that something is coming. The village will soon be in danger, and I need to gather my disciples together again, but my duties keep me bound here, to my dojo. That is why I am asking you. You must journey to them and deliver a message that they uh, that they are needed. Thank you. Do this, and you will become an honorary member of an, our ninja clan. I will teach you my secret techniques, and you will earn the right to use the sacred Pokemon of the Tsukunami. Yadagari. Yadagari. Yada, Yadagari. 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 That name every time. But bear in mind, some of my disciples, they are stubborn and proud. They will need you to prove yourself to them before they agree to return. From what I hear, you are already quite strong Pokemon trainer already. I believe that you have what it takes to earn their respect. Okay, I will do that thing you just said. So what are these? Uh, from futzing about making thumbnails, I recognize those, I think, as two legendary Pokemon. They're like yin and yang of uh, legendary Pokemon. Um, 
Okay, so I've, I've futzed about in the marketplace. I have futzed about over there. Let's go in here. Hello. Oh my. Hello, I am Ronan. The Wave Clan uh, is my is like my family. I am Genin. The Pokemon Sayadine is my secret weapon. I don't know who that what that is. I am the one called Junin. I attack I attack by throwing fry knives. Like knives. You th you literally you you are you. I don't mean to sound like an asshole. You sound like a terrible ninja. Ha! Oh, fish attack, and you just start throwing fish at someone. Like what the fuck? You just start throwing a trout at them. It's like ah, oh, trout, go! It's like what the fuck? That's how are you not laughed out of the village? The only way you're not laughed out of the village is because a there's fry knife fucking everywhere, and b they I don't know might actually be sharp like knives, but the fact that you throw fish at people is a little ridiculous. I'm gonna be honest here. This one's name is Chun In. I ride the waves with, as swiftly as the wind. Nice. How the fuck did they fit a second floor on this thing? So, you've arrived to see me at my very lowest point. Stricken by my shameful defeat. So easily overcome by a child. I cannot show my face outside my village until I have mastered the six sacred arts under Grandmaster Yo uh, Yoshitaka. But so long as his ace disciples are scattered to the winds, my training remains incomplete. I must grow stronger. And I, uh, you and I will uh, will have our fated rematch one day. Okay, so that's the guy I whooped before. And by whooped, I mean repeatedly kept coming back and coming back and coming back and coming back till I finally managed to defeat him through some ridiculous numbers of just grinding and, like, smashing my head against the wall. Okay. Don't know how they fit a second floor on this. How am I to describe... How am I to describe the Supreme Leaders? Well, to put it simply, they're... They are the spiritual, political, and historical foundation of Tsukunami. Without them, we would not know peace. They are truly blessed by the gods. That sounds a little dictator -y. I am of the Suki clan, and my wife is of clan Nami. If not for the example set forth by our leaders, uh, Hinata and Kiato, a love such as ours could never have happened. I guess it is, I guess it goes to show how powerful love can be. Hello, small child. Princess Hintana is, Hinata, Hinata is bright like the sun. We bow our heads to shield our eyes from her radiance. I'm still getting a strong, like, uh, sort of North korea e vibe from this. Uh, you're a trainer, right? Then you should uh, know Kyoto and Hin uh, Hinata are the gym leaders of Tsukunami. Uh, they don't use any particular type, but their name is Night and Day. And the temple of Aotis, uh, ooh, phone, quit making sounds, start shutting up. Uh, the temple of Aotis and uh, Mu Mutios, M Mutio, Mutio, Mutios. I swear to God, some of these names are just designed to fuck with me. Uh, is although I feel like I've run into those names several times in this game. They're legendaries, right? The temple of Aotis and Mutios is the biggest building in our village. It was erected to signal the end of the war that lasted more than a hundred years. Since the temple is also a gym, all battles are in si inside our sacred ritual. Sa sacred ritual. You know, I, I complain about the legendary names and then I fuck up words like sacred and rituals and I just give up. It's like, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm the problem here, okay? I, I'm willing to admit, maybe I'm to blame in this situation. Maybe I just can't speak English. My house has many extra rooms, so I converted it into a hotel. Please be respectful of our guests. Okay. Walked in the first room, I find. Hello. My daughter is obsessed with collecting toys of the Pokemon... Of the Pokemon Minicorn. It's her dream to see one in real life. If you showed it to her, I'm sure she'd be overjoyed. Cool. I will find a Minicorn. Minicorn! I want to see a Minicorn. Have you got a Minicorn? I uh, no. Sorry. Aw, what's the point of being a trainer if you don't cu get cute Pokemon? Well, I've yet to run into or hear of a minicorn, but as soon as I do, why was that door also open? Okay then. What the fuck is that thing? For a, a hot second there, I swore to God that was just like a fetus. Just like some Binding of Isaac fetus shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, hello there. I'm Fennel, a scientist from the Unova region. I decided to come here on vacation since this region has an interesting and unique culture. And uh, and this is Dream, my Musha 
Musharna. Musha Musharna. And this is Dream by Musharna. Musha. I specialize in research on Pokemon Dreams, and we even helped build a device called a Dream Visualizer. Using Musharna's power, I can look inside the dreams of Pokemon. It is truly fascinating. Huh? You're saying there's a little girl in Venice who's trapped? What? I'm sorry. I think either someone buried the thread on that one, or I forgot something really important. There's a little girl in Venice who's trapped in a dream? What? I'm trying my hardest to remember that. What? I'm literally thinking through every building there. I don't... Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, no, I remember now. She's... She was, uh... She was just sick. It, I don't know if it, if it actually mentioned a dream. It, she was sick with some kind of affliction. And she was stuck there. Uh, she wasn't waking up, but I thought she was... It was like pneumonia-esque. Like something just really... I didn't realize she was actually stuck in a dream. Okay. Gotcha. That's a little outside my expertise. I mostly specialize in Pokemon dreams. Still, there must be something I can do to help. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to Venice City and see if I can help this girl. After all, what's the point of science if it can't make people's lives better? I'll see you there, I hope. And, like everyone else in this fucking village, there's a flash of bright light and she has disapparated. Just gone to puts. <gasps> oh, did you bubble? Rawr, 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 rawr. Tsukunami Village has a unique sort of energy, doesn't it? I think it's perfect for an ace trainer like me. Oh, Jaja Puppy. Oh, she's so cute. I would, I would pay probably like $5 to get like an update to this game where I can just have Tan, that, that pupper right there, just follow me around. I want to have my Tan scare out and running around with me. Give me my pupper. I do Jaja Puppy. I do Puppy. I do. Oh, Jaja Puppy. They even have it sideways. What's the point of putting in a sprite like this if the pupper can't follow you around while you're walking? I want that pupper to follow me while I'm walking. I want to take out my pupper and have it follow me. I did a pupper. It's such a good pupper. Away. What is this place again? Okay. Uh, Legend Museum. Treasures and uh, artifacts of cultures long ago. That sounds interesting, but I think we're going to go ahead and call this episode here. Um, I would normally hit the rest of the places real quick, but I'm running a little bit short on time today. So when we come back, we're going to go ahead and hit this place up. Uh, check it out. I can't wait to learn more of the history. I love there was a church, and I want to say uh, not long something. It was... It was the village we had to evacuate due to the nuclear Pokemon overrunning it. I don't remember where it was. It was, it was like northeast of the other map. I don't remember what it was. Or northwest of the other map, rather. I don't remember what it was called, but they had a lot, they had a church there and they had lots of books about all the different things and I sat there and read them all because they were all really interesting. I loved all the lore that they had in here. But uh, we'll come back and check that out next time. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.